This program is offered by Dear Truanters friends, welcome back to our special video test dedicated to one of the most interesting composite stock on the market today. The new Sabati Mercury Tambo that I recently tested on the hunting field mounted on the brand New Bolt Actions Sabati Mercury Track Air chambered in 308 Winchester and on the Sabati Mercury Rover 600 chambered in 223 Remington. The main purpose of my hunting field test has been uh, to verify the advantage offered by this kind of stock that have uh, its roots from the Old West, says the famous Apache Indian chief Cochise who had to modify the buttstock of his Henry Lever action rifle due to a serious wound uh, at his uh, left hand in the year 18,070, making a drill hole in the buttstock to allow his thumb to fit correctly behind the pistol. So was that uh, this kind of buttstock was originally named to Cochise, a term that actually has mostly lost in favor of the more technical tumble stock. This type of stock offers two main advantages. The first one is a better handling and holding for the shooter's hand. The second is a better ergonomy for the head and the face of the shooter on the buttstock. In the hunting field, these two advantages offer in an eventually better level of accuracy and overall performance, not only at long distance, but also at short distance on end of shots. I honestly use the term eventually because a lacking of any experience in the field with such kind of stock, I based my whole field test on the useful instruction and uh, experiences imparted me by my hunting master, a former sniper of the US Marine Corps, actually professional hunting wide in the US and in Africa, who has uh, used it for a long time for varmint both in the US and in South Africa. Since it was my intention to give you all the necessary elements to have uh, the widest knowledge for a practical use on the hunting field of this type of stock, I decided to fit out two Sabati Mercury's bolt actions chambered in two completely different calibers. As a matter of fact, in order to verify the eventual advantage of uh, this uh, stock, I thought uh, it right better to conduct uh, this field test at its uh, extremes choosing two very accurate calibers, the 308 and the 223, but with a different uh, length of barrel, 20 inches for uh, the 308 and 22 inches for the 223 Winchester. Uh, with the Sabati Mercury Tracker in 308, I decided to shoot at long distance and at very short distance for wild boar and road ear. While with the Rover 600 in 223, I decided to shoot at medium distance for road deer and foxes. In this way, I would have the opportunity to make a very complete test of this tumble stock in so different hunting fields and situation. Any other kind of test would have produced just useless compromises. In fact, Tumble stocks are offered in more and more different uh, variations for every imaginable discipline. Turkey hunting, waterfall, home defense, varming, slug guns, and semi-automatic carbine for drive hunting. But this particular model by Sabati has uh, some special features that will uh, allow the owner to use it in many different shooting situations, as you will be able to verify watching my exclusive hunting field test. 
Now, before uh, leaving you uh, to the spectacular images of my hunting field test, let me briefly introduce you the setups of the two rifles used in the field. The test has been divided into two parts, one for each rifle. The first rifle uh, field tested was a Tracker in 308. This is a bolt action that Sabati Mercury has developed for three main hunting purposes. As a guide gun, as a drive hunting carbine, uh, and as a steel hunting rifle for short, medium and quite long distance shootings, depending upon the caliber chosen. In fact, it is, it is available in 308, 306, 300 Winchester Magnum, 9.3 per 62 Mauser and 7 per 64 Brennecke. The Sabati Stumble stock is made with a tough synthetic composite, colored black. Uh, the classic style stock is gracefully proportioned and well shaped. It's slim and trim, making the rifle uh, nicely balanced and fast handling. The forehand is rounded with a finger groove on either side to allow the shooter full control over the rifle. Exterior surfaces of the stock are sheathed in rubber armor coating that's so user-friendly. The comb is high and with a slightly pronounced cheek piece and Monte Carlo in order to support the shooter's face to steady holding. But what really astonished the author on the field test is the oversized oval-shaped hole with a gently curved and deep pistol grip that has a very suitable and subtle palm swelling which adds to a wonderfully comfortable and very, very steady grasp. With this tumble stock, the entire hand uh, of the shooter is uh, completely glued in the stock and can hold the stock firmly, allowing the finger to pull the trigger in a perfect manner. As a matter of fact, the Sabati Mercury stock is an original variant of the tumble concept, so much improved that can be considered at least two steps ahead the competitors being able to allow the hunter to shoot both at very long distance and at a very short distance with unbelievable accuracy. The boot is uh, capped with a soft and thick recoil pad which really softens the kick, but I never felt the extremely well-balanced 308 do any more than gently nudge my shoulder. It is commonly said that tumble stocks should be avoided on hard kicking rifles because the recoil of a powerful big bore rifle exceed the strength of the thumb joint and that the firing such rifles can hyper extend, dislocate or even break the thumb. Maybe with conventional tumble stocks, but this is not the case with the Sabati Mercury tumble stock due to his modified hole and pistol grip. On the contrary, the tumble variation can, this can, tumble variation can be considered a real recoil-friendly stock, even with arc-kicking calibers. The box magazine will please traditionalists because it is not made of plastic. It's a simple and tough design with a recessed magazine release button located just in front of the trigger ward. It is, its uh, capacity is uh, four rounds for standard caliber and three rounds for magnums. For what it concerns the scope used for my field test, I have decided to top both the rifles with, with medium priced products just to have a well-balanced combo. My choice favorite the new ultra compact T30 series of the Italian manufacturer Conus. The model 312 per 50 mm with mil dot reticles illuminated that I mounted on the tracker in 308 and the 312 44 mm with the ballistic reticle 550 illuminated uh, with which I topped the Rover 600 in 223. The two Conus T30 scopes are simply ideal for this kind of rifles and hunting purposes. The mil dot reticle is perfect to support the hunter equipped with a 308 up to 600 meters, 
if the rifle has been zeroed at, at 200 meters and if the ammo has the required performance. The 5.50 reticle is calibrated for a wide range of commercial ammunition to be dead on from 100 to 550 yards. The standard trigger system is adjustable for, uh, from uh, two to three and a half pounds, but I decided to mount the French Staker system since uh, I am accustomed to its use, especially for long distance shots. The 20 inches barrel on the tracker is a perfect compromise for long range shots and uh, handoff uh, uh, shooting at very short distances. The total length of this bolt action is just 39 inches for a total weight of six pounds and a half. A real feather to carry on still hunting. For the field test of uh, this tracker in 308 Winchester, I selected the lead free federal premium 150 grain tropic copper, a commercial ammunition with the necessary uh, exterior and terminal ballistic performance for long range shooting even at tough animals such as wild boars. The Trophy Copper is a boat tail bullet with a polymer tip. It boasts a muzzle velocity of 2,800 2, FPS for an energy of 2,600 feet foot pound that drops at 2,300 at 100 yards, 2,000 at 200 yards, 1,700 1, at 300 yards, 1,500 at 400 yards and 1,235 at 500 yards. Numbers that could accomplish my goals. The Trophy Copper is a copper-made bullet of second generations that works more as a traditional controlled expansion premium lead the soft point bullets rather than a standard lead-free bullet. Personally, I prefer this kind of performance which I consider perfect for long-range hunting with uh, lead-free bullets because it's able to expand and penetrate correctly even at the, the longest distance, says with low velocities, a, a conditio sine qua non with tough animals. More in the Sabati Mercury tracker was, uh, was very accurate, although it's a short barrel. As said, the barrel of the Rover 600 is, two, is 22 inches, long which is the, uh, the perfect compromise to squeeze every possible foot pound from the 223 Remington and to allow fast aiming and shooting at short and medium distances. The total length of this rifle is just 39 inches for a total weight of just six pound and a quarter. For the field test of this Rover 600 in 223, I selected the, the 55 grains Federal Premium Vital Shock Ballistic Tip, a commercial ammunition with the necessary exterior and terminal ballistic performance for the kind of hunting purposes I had on mind. The ballistic tip is a boat tail bullet with a polymer tip. It boasts a muzzle velocity of 3,240 FPS for an er energy of 1,280 foot-pound that drops at 1,000 at 100 yards, 780 at 200 yards, 595 at 300 yards, 450 at 40, 400 yards, and 335 at 500 yards. Regarding the terminal performance of a bullet, I remind you that in order to fully penetrate the skin, the muscle, and the big bones of an animal, the bullet needs at least 115 foot-pounds. So at 500 yards, this bullet, the ballistic tip, can do its work in terms of penetration and expansion if properly placed into small-sized games. With this ammunition and the Conus 5.5 reticle, the hunter can be dead on from 0 to 400 yards, while at 500 and 550 yards, it has to compensate the, the shot of 3 and 5 inches respectively. Well, dear True Hunters friends, after the necessary introductions to the starrings of our test, now let's go to the hunting fields. <laughs> Dear friends of True Hunters TV, welcome to my first session of uh, the hunting field test of our Sabati Mercury 
track air chambered in 308 Winchester. Um, for the first session of the hunting field, I have selected a special place where I want to uh, test uh, one of the of the most interesting features of this uh, of this uh, uh, rifle, which is the the tumble stock. Uh, I will test it uh, uh, in two different ways. The first one, as I mentioned above, is uh, it's uh, the test of the of the the stock uh, in in a, in a place where the the shooting uh, the average shooting range is between 80 and 200 meters. And then I will I will make another session for long range shooting because uh, this kind of stock is ideal both for long shot and also for offhand shooting. Let me introduce you uh, briefly uh, this, this place. Uh, we have uh, a wide openings uh, inside a deep wood. Uh, here normally the shooting range is between uh, 20, 30 meters up to 180, 200 maximum. Uh, here uh, I have a very thick wood where normally the animals stays during the night. Then in, in early in the morning they come out, they cross this opening to reach uh, some olive groove that stays uh, behind those trees there. Then uh, at, the, at the first light or something like that they will move again back they will recross the opening and they will come back to their uh, uh, home inside the wood. This is a, a typical ambush place where uh, you ambush the animal, especially wild boar and fallow deer and roe deer. Tomorrow morning I will stay here, I will come here at, uh, at the night time and I will wait for the wild boars that will come from there and they will try to cross here. Okay, let's see what's up. As you have seen, a group of the wild boar came and uh, I shot one, the smaller one, and, uh, and then the other ones uh, scattered all along. It was a very nice action. Uh, this tumble is very rapid, fast, precise. I'm very happy. Now I will wait for some road here or follow the that's hunting again. Here it is my first wild boar is a male about 120 pounds. Uh, it was first light there was a group coming from uh, a very uh, deep wood here they were going back to the to the to the another thick bush that is here and uh, uh, let me check how many meters i estimated is about 100 yards yeah is about 92 yards uh, so i shoot the, this animal end off which is uh, perfect for, for the tumble stock. Uh, this is the 308 Sabati Truck Air version and uh, the test will go on with this uh, 308 and also with the 223, the Rover 600. This was an ideal situation in which uh, you can appreciate a lot this kind of stock because the end of shooting at 100, 150 yards are very, they are not easy, so you need really a, 
a good, uh, a good stock, a very stable. And this is very big here in the pistol. The pistol grip is very, it's very big. So you have a, a nice uh, uh, a grip. And uh, so I'm very happy. And also, as you can see here, the bullet went exactly on the shoulder. The animal dropped it on its tracks, and uh, the trophy copper of Federal Premium did a great job. Now I will go to Butcher, the wild boar, and I will up to date you about the, the performance of the bullet if I can recover it. Okay, guys of the True, of True Hunters TV, I'm going to continue the test on the field and see what will happen. Dear friends of True Hunters TV, here I am again. So, uh, for this second session I have uh, selected a very special place in which uh, uh, I can uh, test uh, both in, at long range distance shooting and medium and sh short uh, shooting distance. Because uh, here uh, there is a special uh, field uh, which uh, ends then there is another field, open field, and here the, I can shoot both from, from, from 80 to 150 meters and from, from 200 meters up to 500 meters. Here it is finally my roe deer, my male roe deer. Uh, it wasn't a, a long shot, but it was a very fast action. I, I had very few seconds to react and shoot because uh, uh, the, the animal uh, filled something. Uh, and then uh, I had to shoot, I have to shoot uh, very, very, very quickly. Um, then uh, the, the animal makes uh, about five meters uh, and then uh, went inside for a couple of meters inside the bush and I found it uh, uh, just so rolled over there. Um, I, I have seen uh, a, a school of wild boar, there were five animals. I tried to, to, to have a clean shot, but it wasn't impossible, they were in thick bush, so I, I waited, I waited until dark, then uh, I had to, to, get, to give up and, and went to recover and, and to find my, my male road. I'm very satisfied because it wasn't a, a very long shot, but it was a fast action. I'm also very satisfied of, about uh, this ammunition, the Federal Premium uh, Trophy Copper. Uh, it it, uh, it uh, works like uh, more like a soft point than uh, a, a monolithic uh, 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 controlled expansion, but I'm very satisfied. I hope to uh, now. Now, what I want to do is to try to find a longer shot just to verify on the field the the performance of this uh, of this uh, um, stock, the tambo stock. Okay. Let's see what's happened in the future. Dear friends of True Hunters, here we are for the third, our third session on the hunting field with our Sabati Mercury with tumble stock in 308. Today I will really test uh, this stock and the, and, the, and the rifle and above all our Conus T30 312 per 50 millimeters with mil dot reticle. As you can see at my shoulder, on my back I have a long field uh, which uh, presents uh, an average 
shooting range of 350 meters because it is just in front of me is about 180 200 meters and then uh, it goes over there with the 500 over 500 meters of the shooting uh, of shooting range uh, in this field I can I can find normally I can find roe deer fallow deer and wild boar I will stay here on, on uh, this uh, uphill where there is a, a vineyard I will stay in ambush here and waiting for a for an animal as you can see there is a roe deer there now let's let's go and see which kind of roe deer is that six meters an unbelievable shot unbelievable unbelievable I'm so satisfied with this this tumble Sabatti Mercury in 308 a very very long shot for a 20 inches 50 centimeter barrel but this stock is fantastic let me tell you fantastic now we're gonna uh, test the Rover 600 Sabatti Mercury in 223 Remington. See you soon. Dear True Hunters friends, here we are for our session in the field with our Sabatti Mercury Rover 600 with the tumble stock chamber in 223 Remington. Uh, for this, uh, for this uh, field test, I have uh, uh, selected uh, a, a special uh, hunting, uh, the mouflon hunting. The mouflon is, uh, is a very difficult game here in Italy because uh, is, uh, his, its population is very scattered, uh, they, they are very clever, they have uh, good sight, so they are not uh, so easy to approach. And uh, what, what I want to do is that hunting, I want to hunt uh, the, the mouflon in a very special place where the, the, the distance of shooting can be very long, but above all it will be very fast. You don't have enough time to, to shoot. To, uh, you have to be very fast and so the, the, the shooting will be very difficult. Uh, that's why I, chosen, I have chosen this kind of hunting because I want to field test uh, this tumble stock in 223. Okay, let's go hunting and see what will happen. There is a group a big group of mouflon and there is another one on the on the step here and it's coming down so I will have to choose a female and then I will take my shot. They are about 220 meters more or less. Yeah, a perfect shot. I t it took at least 20 minutes to have this shot because I have a, a lot of vegetation in front of me and uh, the animals were in, in constant movement so uh, I couldn't take my shot because there were some, uh, some uh, big males, some youngsters running up and down, left and right, so it was very difficult to have a good shot, a clear shot, because I didn't want to take another one behind. But at the shot, the animal make only five meters down and then 
it went down on its tracks. It was a very nice shot. I have strongly appreciated also in this caliber my tumble stock and uh, I strongly recommend you this kind of tumble stock because it is perfect both with the light calibers and big calibers. Okay, let's go to the animal. Okay, here it is my young female. But above, above uh, the importance of the, of the trophy, what uh, it was uh, on uh, my priority was uh, to, to do a, a hunting field test, uh, very tough for this uh, kind of, uh, of stock. And I must say that uh, Sabati Mercury has done a very great job uh, because uh, this uh, kind of stock changed completely the approach for both the long distance and the very short distance. I strongly recommend you this kind of, uh, of stock, uh, made a test for yourself and, and will give me right and reason. On this, uh, on this test. Okay, see you very soon for the next t field test on truehunters.tv. This program was offered by.